Thanks for coming to my sister's funeral, guys. It means a lot to me. That's all right, Shimshi. She was a good friend of ours. Yeah, I didn't understand what she was saying most of the time, but she was nice. I know she and I had our differences, Shemshi, but she was family, and I did care for her. And you know we're all here for you. Yeah, we're all here for you, Shemshi. You know that. Nothing could ever break us up. Hi, guys. I, um, I have Edith's will, but I don't quite understand it. Perhaps if I read it aloud, you can help me piece it together? Sure. Let's hear it. Okay. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 did any of you understand any of that? Sherry, you know this is my dad we're talking about. You're not going to try and steal his treasure from me, are you? Don't worry, Shimshi, I won't. But if you're going to fly to the Bermuda Triangle to try and find it, I think I should come with you. But why? It's dangerous, Sherry. Uh-huh, and I'm a main character. You're a side character. You're expendable. If you crashed on your own, Matringa 6-3 could write you out of the script. That's a good point, actually. Okay, fine. You can come. But what shall we do about Faye and Lenny? They're idiots. They're not going to get there before us. Besides, we've got Lila. Her inventions can help us get there faster. Yeah, right. I'm not helping you two. Mum... You just want that treasure so that you can start up your own marshmallow company, and I think that's a really bad idea. Suit yourself. Stay here. Yeah, just more money for me and Shemshi to split. Yeah, come on, Sherry. Let's go. Beep. 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 This doesn't look like Bermuda. Damn it, I got lost again. Oh well, might as well head on in. Hello? Anyone here? I wasn't expecting visitors. Oh, I know who you are. You're Red. Right you are. What was your name? My name is Faye. I'm on a search, but my beeps led me here. Your beeps? Yeah, it's a sixth sense I have. Whenever I'm looking for something, I have this metal detecting ability that helps me find it. What exactly are you looking for? I'm not sure, but I know it's in the Bermuda Triangle. Is this Bermuda? No. Bermuda out of all places? <laughs> That's interesting. Let me see. I knew I should have taken that left turn at Albuquerque. Aha! Uh -huh. Here. What can you tell me? Bermuda is a group of 181 islands in the Atlantic Ocean. But the Bermuda Triangle? What you're looking for is a region in the North Atlantic Ocean. It's a very dangerous place. Planes and ships often go missing in the Bermuda Triangle, and they are never to be seen again. Alright. Thanks for the info, Red. I'll head there now. Uh, didn't you hear what I just said? The Bermuda Triangle is dangerous. You mightn't even come back alive. That's fine. I'd get to see my friend Edith in heaven again. One moment. Where could I put it? Nah, not this one. No, not this one either. Ah, there it is. Take this radio with you. You'll be able to contact me if something comes up, or if you end up getting lost by any chance. Okay, I'll take it. But you don't have to worry, Red. I won't get lost. How did I end up here? In order to beat the others to the treasure, I'm going to have to get there fast. I could run, but I'd be even faster if I was in a race car. I know what I must do. I must turn myself into a figurine!
That was fun. I was finally in an actual motor race. Um, Uncle Lenny, that didn't actually accomplish anything. You're still in Orangeville. But you see, where you're wrong, Lila, is... Wait. Look, Lenny, I don't want my mum to get that treasure. She wants to start up a marshmallow company and that's just a bad idea. Come with me. I have an invention at my house that could get you to the treasure first. Hey Siri, you remember that time you wanted us to go on a vacation to Atlantis? Yes, you went on your own and I didn't hear from you for over a year. Exactly. Did you ever wonder why I did that? Every morning of every day. I did it because I was looking for my dad. He was a war pilot, you see. Mum always told me that he left her, but I never believed that. I guess she never told me the truth because she knew I'd keep on looking for him. Shimshi, you're just telling me this because you don't want me stealing the treasure and feeling bad about it. Sherry, that's not true. You're the kindest lioness ever. You were never stoop low enough to steal my father's treasure from me. <sighs> Shimshi, you're still just trying to guilt shame me. Trying to make me feel bad if I betrayed you. Please don't try and steal the treasure from me. Why do you even want the treasure? Why do you want it? I asked first. Fine. I want to buy one of those old British Spitfire warplanes. I just think they're really cool. And I want to open the marshmallow factory. It will be like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, and I'll be its ruler. I'll call it Skirdlewitch, and I will be the queen of Skirdlewitch. You don't know you can afford that. We have no idea what the treasure is. It could be a Bitcoin. Or it could be a Dogecoin. Something completely worthless. Not worth stealing at all. We'll see about that. To the moon, baby. Sherry. Shemshi, I'm not going to betray you. I don't even know what I'm doing here. If I was going to betray you, I'd probably need to know how to fly this plane. I don't even know what that lever does. That's the landing gear. Or that button. Radio. Or that button. Autopilot. Hey! Red? Red? Are you there? Pick up Red? Uh... Faye? Red, I think I need your help. Faye? Uh, what's going on? Where, where, where are you? Hi, are you guys leprechauns? Shy, huh? Don't worry, I won't bite. Are you guys from Earth too? Huh. Well, if you don't want to talk, I can tell you about myself. My name is Faye and I am a metal detector. Name anything and I can find it. Watch me. Um, I'm gonna try and find some extraterrestrial beings. Beep. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, oh my gosh, guys. I think there might be some aliens nearby. You know, aliens. They're green. They have big black eyes. Uh, don't you know what aliens look like? Hey, I know you were heading to the Bermuda, but this thing with aliens? You're not trying to mess with me now, are you? Oh, you should see this, Red. These green creatures are taking me inside a shiny flying machine. Hey, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Hey? Oh, that's just terrific. Hmm. Hey, Nala. Remember when you got mad with me for spending millions of taxpayers' money on hunting dragons? Well, look who's stupid now. Okay, Simba, you were right! Nuke it! Wow, were these dragon wings that Lila invented? I'll get to the Bermuda Triangle in no time. Oh my god! Lenny! Woohoo! 
Let's do that again. But this time, Lila, can you give me some wins that don't make me look like a dragon? Ah, this is much better. What the hell was that? Way the go, Shemshi. You crashed our plane. I crashed our plane? No. You crashed it when you hijacked the controls while I was asleep. You shouldn't have been sleeping. So you should have tried to wake me. But no. You took over the controls because you just want that treasure for yourself. And now look. You broke it. Just like you always break everything. I shouldn't be surprised. In fact, I am surprised you didn't lose your fur coat too. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, guess what, Shimshi? I might just strut around this island naked and you can't do anything about it because you're over there on the stupid island. Stupid island? My island is the one the plane crashed on. I've got all of the supplies. What have you got? And, Sherry, put your fur coat back on. Why should I? You're the only other one here. What about him? Guys, I, um, don't know how to land. Lenny! Your winds just blew my coat into the ocean. What? Faye, I don't know what you're saying. And why are you green? So are we all stranded here? Does anyone know where the mainland is? Yeah, sure. It's right over there. Wait, is that... red? What are you doing here? I was following Faye's distress calls on the radio. What are you guys doing? We're all on the treasure hunt. Oh, are you working together? No, we're not. These three are trying to steal my father's treasure from me. Fairy even crashed my plane. Well, maybe you should start working together. I mean, your plane is crashed. Faye has turned into an alien. Fairy lost her fur coat. And Lenny has wings. You all look rather ridiculous. Perhaps, you know, just maybe, if you work together, you'd have more success. He has a point, actually. Maybe we should start working together. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Say, are you able to track down where the treasure is? The treasure is in the rowboat? I don't see any treasure in here. But I do see a letter. It's hard to read though, I can't make out the handwriting. It was probably written by my dad. My family has a history of bad handwriting. I might be able to read it. Shavy, give me the letter. I can hand it to Shemshi and he can read it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I can read it. Dear Shemshi, if you are reading this then that means you disobeyed your mum. So thank you. Also, I am probably dead. My plane went down on this island many years ago, but don't worry. I've been able to live quite happily surviving by eating fish. Unfortunately, I broke my legs during the crash, so I am unable to row the rowboat back to shore. Perhaps you will have better luck. Have a great life, son. And please take care of my rowboat. She is my precious treasure. So... Treasure is the name of the rowboat? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Oh. Alright, come on, Sherry. Row that boat over here. Let's all go back home. Thanks for encouraging us to work together, Red. We might not have made it back otherwise. Don't mention it. But what do you plan to do with her? Oh, don't worry about her. My sister's a doctor. She'll be able to fix her up. Yeah, and Lila gave me these wins, so I'm sure she'll be able to remove them too. And Cherry will be able to buy a new coat. The only one who's really lost anything is me. Oh, that's not true, Shimshi. Sure, you lost your plane, but you got your dad's rowboat. Yeah, you know what? Since it's such a great treasure, why don't we just take it to the museum and let them value it? If Dad wanted it to be kept safe, it would be safest at a museum, right? Wow, what an incredible discovery! 
This is the only raft I've heard of that has ever been recovered from the Bermuda Triangle. This is truly an historic artifact. I will pay each and every one of you one million dollars. Lioness Hub? What's that? Oh, um, nothing important. <laughs>